Hey guys, what's up? Sorry I uh, haven't <laughs> posted anything in like a year. I've kind of been busy with my life, but I'm back and I'm going to be making more tutorials. Can't wait. Uh, also, just real quick, thank you for a thousand subscribers. It was a big accomplishment, I guess. <laughs> I mean, at least for me. Anyway, on with the tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to improve your PowerPoint slides to make them look very professional, very creative, personal, and, you know, really make them stand out from all the other PowerPoints. Because, you know, I mean, I've, if, if you're anything like me, you've had to present a PowerPoint in school, and a lot of your friends' PowerPoints don't look as great, you know, it has, like, the stretched out background and, you know, shitty text that doesn't really coordinate with the background, and it just doesn't look good. It looks like it took two minutes. Um, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a nicer, more creative PowerPoint slide for for your project or your your business or whatever. Um, so you don't need anything. All you really need is Microsoft PowerPoint um, and Internet. So we, what you want to do is either go to Google and search for an image to use. But it, what you're searching for is a basic kind of cool design, not too creative or anything, just kind of basic modern design. You can also hop over to PSD Graphics. I've made a tutorial on these, or I made a video about this site. It's a really, really, really awesome site that like allows you to have PSD files and templates, but they also allow you to have backgrounds. And with the backgrounds, there's a lot that are really, really cool. They have like 45 pages full of like cool backgrounds and stuff. Uh, you want to try to find one that, again, isn't that, you know, it detailed or like advanced or anything. Something that's very basic that you can just put text over. That's kind of what you want to have, is just something to put text over. Um, also, fonts are very, very important. If you ever, like, if you ever see something like this, I'm just using a basic, you know, Calibri font that they allow me to have on Microsoft PowerPoint. It's just the default font that they that they have but you can download custom fonts I can show you how to quickly do that uh, my favorite website is defont.com uh, it's probably the best site uh, there's a few site uh, web um, cool texts text fonts that you can use um, one of them my favorite is cafe Nero you can just search that and once you download it you can very easily install it by going to control panel <clears throat> and then fonts, and then just plop it on here, and you're good to go. Okay, so let's start with this awesome template. So I'm gonna delete this retarded background and this. We all will keep the text, I guess. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna bring that down, and I'm gonna open up my background. Oh, oops. Forgot about that. <laughs> um, yeah. Alright, uh, and I guess because this is a title, we can use a title slide, so I'll use this. I found this really cool one that, you know, it's kind of like this paint uh, roll that someone made. And we'll hit send the back just like you would before. And then what we can do is make this text go along with the, uh, with the paint. This looks okay. You can also change the font and we'll change it to Cafe Nero because it's the font that we wanted. That looks even better. Now, it doesn't really fit in with the background still, so we can fix that by right clicking on it and format text effects. Maybe add a shadow. Change the size a lot. We had a blur. Change the transparency a little bit. And, um, you can also have maybe like a little text outline. Make it white. Set the transparency down just a little bit. 
close. And there we go. It kind of fits in really, really nice. It looks just like it would be with the paint, which is really cool. Now with this text and the bottom, we can maybe change this to the subtitle, whatever, whatever you want. And we'll change the font again. Maybe we'll change it to a different font. How about uh, ethnocentric? Again, these are all fonts that you can find on thefont.com. You can just Google fonts if you want, you know, cool uh, techno fonts that you, you, you can find. And, um, yeah. So, let's have that. And we'll change this to awesome. There we go. So, that looks really nice. Now we'll add a new slide just to do another example. So now it adds, it allows us to have, you know, this add text region and stuff and maybe add a title. So it gives us a lot more options. Um, so what we can do is get another picture. I always do that for some reason. I always try to open up a new project, whatever. Um, I'll use, I like this green one. This one's really nice. This is a little smaller, so we'll extend it out. As you see, because these pictures are so big, the quality doesn't really, the quality doesn't really change too much. And we can just extend that. Go. And then again, hit send, send it back. Send it back again. I don't know what happened to the uh, other thing, but whatever. Okay. And you know, we can add a title. Change the uh, text again. Change it to Cafe Nero. And we again we can maybe change something else in text effects. Uh, maybe we can change the 3D 3D rotation maybe. Or uh, let's see, we can do that real quick. I don't want to have it coming at me, so we'll do that. And then we'll change the text or the color. Uh, solid. And we can also have a gradient fill if you want. Gradient fills are always really cool. And these gradient fills, I'm pretty sure, are the same ones in Photoshop or have, are similar to the ones in Photoshop. Um, and what we can do is change it. Really basic. I like that. Um, maybe add a shadow again too. All right, and then maybe add a text box with some awesome text inside. Let's do that again. And use cafe or CGF resistance or locust resistance. There we go. And you know you can mess around with it. Another really really cool thing to make it even look better is if you have like let's say another picture. We'll use this one. And um, we'll go with this, and we'll change this to pick. Sure. 
and uh, show exactly the picture. Move that out in the front, just like that. Maybe stretch it just a tad. Yeah. There we go. And then maybe um, right, right click on it, hit format picture, and maybe add a 3D to it, just like that. Uh, add a bottom to it. See, it has this cool little 3D effect that looks really nice. Um, so that's something that's also really cool. You can also add like a solid fill, make it a, uh, a cool little fill around it. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, so I hope you, this tutorial is kind of helpful for you making a cool. Uh, awesome PowerPoint slide to really impress your your boss or your, your teacher or whatever. Um, so yeah, I hope this was cool. And stay tuned for more tutorials. I'm gonna be doing a lot of you know more basic, cool tutorials like that with Photoshop. But I'm also gonna be doing more advanced stuff with you know video editing. But I'm I mean more advanced stuff in general I guess. But mostly with video editing and. Uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.